Hello students of class 10. Today we are going to see chapter 10 natural vegetation. So this chapter we had already discussed in our previous class where we had discussed the definition of natural vegetation, importance of forest and types of vegetation. In that we had discussed tropical evergreen and tropical deciduous forest today we'll see tropical desert forest okay so these are also known as thorn forest so in desert you can see thorn type of forest isn't it so first we'll see climatic conditions so temperature it is 25 degrees Celsius to 27 degrees Celsius. Rainfall. As it is a desert forest, you can see very less rainfall. That is less than 50 centimeters of rainfall you can find here. Next, we will see distribution. Where do you find this type of forest? So, you can find tropical desert forest in uh, Southwest Punjab, Haryana, Uttar Pradesh, Central and Eastern Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Gujarat, etc. So, these areas you can find tropical desert forest. Next, we will see uh, characteristic features. So, these forests have xerophytic vegetation due to paucity of rainfall the trees are stunned with large patches of coarse grasses so here you can see xerophytic plants that is like cactus and all where these plants they don't have leaves okay so plants remain leafless so that little uh, water is required for these type of plants Next, we will see the important trees found in this type of forest. So, trees like bear, babul, date palm, kanji, neem, etc. These type of plants you can find in the tropical desert forest. Next, we will see economic value. So, here bear fruit is eaten raw or made into pickle or beverages also and its timber is hard strong tough and durable so that this bare fruits timber is used for making legs for bedsteads boat ribs agricultural implements and even it is used as a charcoal also next we'll see babul so, bubble bark and gum have medic medicinal values. Even it is used as a uh, toothpaste also. Next, we will see date palm is eaten raw also. And it is also used as astringent as a decoction syrup or paste for sore throat even cold fever etc date palm is used next we'll see neem bark or and roots they also have medical properties so neem oil is available leaves are also used for many medical purposes and even the neem extracted beauty products are also available it is also used as a insecticides also so you can see so many economic values of these trees okay so next we'll go for littoral or tidal forest so the climatic conditions of this forest so these type of forest you can find in the wet marshy areas that is in river deltas in tidal or in the swampy areas so the temperature is 26 degree to 29 degree celsius and uh, rainfall you can see as it is a littoral forest 
more rainfall is required here so more than 200 centimeters of rain rainfall you can find here next we'll see distribution where do you find this type of forest so this type of forest as i told you earlier you can find near the wet marshy areas that is deltas of large rivers on eastern and western coast then in saline swamps of sundarbans in west bengal and coastal areas of andhra pradesh odisha etc so next we'll see the characteristic features of littoral or tidal forest so they have mainly evergreen species of varying density and height usually associated with wetness so as you see rainfall is getting more than 200 centimeters so in this type of forest you can see evergreen species are there okay so next is that the tree trunks are supported by a number of stilt like roots which remain submerged under water during high tide and can be seen during low tides you can see over the picture shown here the roots can be seen isn't it so this is stilt roots so these roots are like this so that the trees can uh, be supported here okay so these trees are near uh, is in the uh, marshy areas so the stilt roots it prevent the trees from uprooting okay so next characteristic is that they have profuse growth with tangle of clambers which is an adaptation for survival in soft and shifting mud so here you can see profuse growth that is extreme growth of climbers are there so climbers they uh, go in search of sunlight so you can see extreme climbers are there in this type of um, forest next we'll see the important trees so trees like leora amur bhara rhizophora screw pines palm sundri etc these are some of the trees which you find in the mangrove forest so distribution you can find mangrove forest or tidal forest or littoral forest in andaman and nicobar islands west bengal deltas of mahanadi godavari and krishna these forests have sundri trees so you can see in the picture here picture these are the pictures of sundri trees so from the sundri trees the name sundarbans came for this forest in the ganga delta region so next we'll see the economic value so mangrove trees are utilized for fuel whereas sundri trees provide hard durable timbers okay so next we'll see mountain forest uh, the forest which you find on the mountain is called as mountain forest so first we'll see the climatic condition so for this type of forest temperature required is 12 degree celsius to 13 degree celsius rainfall 100 to 300 centimeters next we'll see relief these forest occurs at an altitude between 1000 meter to 4000 meter so distribution as the name say mountain it is a mountain forest 
so these forests cover the entire himalayan zone from kashmir to sikkim and arunachal pradesh and when you come to the peninsula region you can find these type of forest in the vindhyas nilgiris and western ghats next we'll see the characteristic features so these forest contain mixed species of broad leafed evergreen trees as well as coney forts also so mixed species you can find here so they also contain scrubs are there creepers are there and ferns so all type of mixed species you can find here next point is that at the foot hills of himalayas you can find deciduous forest at an altitude of 1000 to 2000 meter they are moist temperate forest okay from 1000 to 2000 meter altitude you can find moist temperate forest so in the hilly areas of west bengal and uttarakhand evergreen broad leaf trees like chestnut and oak are also found here at higher altitudes you can find alpine tree alpine forest and pastures are found followed by mosses and lichens mosses means small patch type of grass so beyond the snow line you don't find any vegetation because it is covered with snow so you don't find any vegetations there so next we'll see some important trees of mountain forest so trees like spruce cedar walnut cypress jamun chestnut cedar etc these type of trees you can find here so i hope this topic is clear to you all so everyone go through the module once again read the chapter so thank you children